another episode of American Duo where we're going to show you how to make fishing stuff from just stuff you have laying around your house. First we're going to make a fishing hook out of a little paper clip as you see. And all you do here is you take the middle, you fold it over like that, then you take your pliers or whatever, you cut it right there, and you have it like that. Then you see this part's a little long, so you just trim her down how about you think's good. Then you just take the tip right here and roll it over and pinch it right there. Then you got yourself a hook. Okay, so we're going to make a fishing hook out of a pop tab. Okay, so what you're going to do is cut where you want it. Come back over here and start cutting that. Oh, we didn't cut all the way through. So you cut her all the way through. This is being difficult. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, we just want to come over here, rip this off, twist it, whatever. Okay, so then you got that. Then you just pinch that down on the metal, and like that. So that's what it looks like, all right? So then you're going to take it and cut half of this off. Thirdly, we're going to teach you how to make some minnow traps out of water bottles. So first thing you want to do is see this plastic. You want to cut right across there. All right. So you have that part. Then simple enough, you just put it right in there. Wrap some duct tape around it. Okay. So you get you some duct tape. And you come over here. You can use anything, but everybody has duct tape. You just tape your Put it in there and you just tape it all the way around. Then before you're done, you just, you know, take some, put some holes in it, you know. Not big enough where the fish can go out, but so water can pass. Then you need line to connect your thing, so you can just take fishing line, cut your good amount off, just take it, cut it. Then you get over here and grab some duct tape. about like that. Find the end of your line and you could wrap it in that so you can see where your thing's at. Because you can, this line's pretty heavy so you can, I mean like 10 pounds, you can hold 10 pounds. So you just take your duct tape, wrap around it so you know where it's at. Because it's, it's kind of hard to find a fishing line by itself. Then you just take the end of your other line, the duct tape roll in there and get it again. Then you got yourself Homemade minnow trap. I'll show you how to make a minnow trap that's double sided, which you have to connect them first, like you did last one. Then on this one, you have to cut off the bottom on here, too. Now on this one, you just do the exact same thing. Cut it. Just like that. And come over here. Just like that. So now that's all. I just got put them just take it over, kind of like overlap one. It might take a while because it's just from the plastic, but and then you get it on there, right? So then you're gonna take some duct tape. If I can get it here. Right. Get some duct tape. Just a thin piece. Wrap around there so it can't come off. Then you gotta start putting the head on it. And then you come over here and put it on the other side. that on there like that so now yeah it doesn't look the prettiest but you got both ways so now the minnows have more room to get in and get out then you just take the line like you did the other one and put that on it then you got a minnow trap so I went ahead and put the line and the little thing on it but now you got double sided minnow trap which you want to put holes in it because it's already going both ways so now we have one more minnow trap to show you how to make okay now this minnow trap is only gonna have one hole in the top but we're gonna take this one cut off and have like an extension one so it has a lot more room for the minnows to swim. So you just start cutting like that. Just like the other one, you cut the top off. Then you just start cutting the bottom off. And the other one, we cut this and that off. So now we're just going to cut this off on the other one. Okay, so then you're going to stick it. We'll try to get it over like this one last time. Remember, it's still flimsy. It's hard to get on now there. you're just going to take it like last time. Stick your duct tape around it. And you don't have to use duct tape. You can use staples, but I'm pretty sure that everyone has duct tape laying around. So then you just take the put the top on right here. Then you'll just duct tape around. Then the metal traps like this. It has an extension to it. 
But you still have to put holes in this one so the water can go through it like the other one. The last thing I'm going to make here today is jug fishing. You know, when people just throw jugs out in the fish, all you really do need is a, uh, like a cart like this or milk. And you just take your string with the hook on it. And then you come over here to this handle. And you just tie her on. You might want to do more than one so it stays on there a little better. And you just keep on tying. Okay, so when you get done with your jug, you tie it on there. And then you have your jug and your hook. You just let it sit like that. That's all you have to do. This is probably one of the simplest things to make. I want to say shout out to Katie who helped us film this. Thank you, Katie. And that David will make it to the next one. And we'll see you next time, guys. Alright, that was this video. Let's go see what David's doing. Oh, hey, guys. Um, yeah, we're going to plan a fishing trip this summer. It's going to be real great. We're going to use all these different techniques in our pond that you saw us two videos ago busting up. And, uh... We're going to have just a great time. He asked what I was doing. It's actually been a long night. We got home from church, and then every night we go out and check the cows. When we went out and checked them, we had one pregnant, and we had to pull the calf. So that's where I've been for the last hour and a half. I'm filthy. I need a shower. And that's where I'm going right now. So see you guys later. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumb up, and hit the bell icon so you know when we upload videos. And uh, see you later, guys.